Is it true you believe you live with a ghost? Yes. <laughs> I am convinced I live with a ghost. My housemate is an athlete as well. Um, and we have a ghost, a friendly ghost, who I actually think wants me to succeed in athletics. The ghost turns off the lights if I stay up too late. Um, it hides keys in... So it's like a poltergeist? Yeah. A moot thing. But I noticed Brian sort of sighed when you said, I live with a ghost. Yeah. And are you a sceptic of such supernatural beliefs? Uh, to a certain extent. But I had an, an experience. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I did, I did, I really did. I had really did. I, it was years ago, 100 years ago, when I was a young actor. I was, at, I was in Edinburgh, the Royal Lyceum working there, and um, I had a, a bed sitting room uh, that was one of these beautiful Victorian with these curved doors. And uh, I went to bed one night, and there was this long dresser in front of me. To, I was, my bed was as well up left, and the dresser was there. And there was a chair right next to the dresser. And I was just trying to go to sleep. And uh, suddenly there was this rocking sound. And the chair started to rock. And it started to rock across the room in front of my bed. <laughs> and it went boom, 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 boom. No, it's absolutely true. And boom, boom, boom. And then it stopped there. And of course, by this time, I was. You know, I got myself right under the covers because I thought, shit, this is fucking <laughs> awful. <You know? laughs> no, it was really terrible, I thought. And, uh, and I thought, OK, um, I went to sleep, I passed out. And then I woke up in the morning and the chair was still here and the floor was covered in these scratch marks. Oh. Wow. Mm. Not like your friendly No. Ghost. No. <laughs> it's just flicking the light switches, that's scary. Ruth, have you had any such experiences? Um, well, I not not quite like that. I oh. I did go and um, when I was filming on the Lone Ranger, we went on the Santa Fe Trail, and a group of us went to this one of those salon bars, saloon bars on the Santa Fe Trail, which and um, it's like a ghost saloon bar. You so, go there, they would show you round, they'd show you all the rooms, and say this is where someone got shot in the back, this is where something else happened, and they build it up. And then you could stay there overnight in this, it's like a hotel. So after you knew people had been murdered there? Yeah, yeah, it's all, yeah, it's all sort of history, it's a ghost story night, and then you stay in the rooms, so you know what happened in that room and who got shot and who... And I was staying in this room, and I went with all the makeup and uh, makeup team from the film. And I was on, in the room on my own, and I was pretty scared. It all got quite hyped up. So I was like, I'm not going to turn the light off. I'm going to keep the light on. I'm feeling tense energy in this room. I think there might be something here. I'm not sure. So I get into bed. I sort of get in the covers, get into the bed, put my head down. I feel something under the pillow. And it starts to freak me out. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I get up, and I lift up the pillow, and there's a dismembered arm under my pillow. <laughs> a fake dismembered oh. arm. <laughs> it was my crew who had put a dismembered <laughs> arm under my pillow. Oh, oh my it completely God. freaked me out. <laughs> Um, so no, not. But I couldn't sleep. I didn't sleep a wink. No, the whole we'll... night because I was like freaking out. But that is a horrible trick. It's a horrible trick to be played on me. Terrible. Greg, yes, I see you as a very uh, sensible and realistic man. Spiritual man. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Any such experiences? No. Okay. <laughs> the closest I've got to a ghostly experience was I was at home quite a few years ago, but I was very much an adult. I was in my thirties. And I went home to see my parents. And in the middle of the night, I heard this. And I think this is an accurate impression coming from the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's an exaggeration. <laughs> and I was probably 35, but I, went, I woke my dad up. <laughs> there is a beast. There's some kind of Baskerville-like creature in the garden. And he was taking the piss out of me, going, oh, well, well, come on, 35-year-old, let's go and find <laughs> out what it is. And he took, a, I mean, he took an air rifle out with him, taking the piss out. <laughs> and we went round the back of the house. And, and as we got round the back of the house, I saw his face change, cos he started to hear this. <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating. And then we got round there, and you'll never believe what it was. I'll do the noise again. <laughs> it was two hedgehogs shagging. <laughs> 